obviously all our police and all our plans for the jail have, have been ignored. Um, and when Columbia University School of Architecture, because of Mile Zhang, came to the committee and offered them, gave us an offer which we could not refuse, um, I really, in my heart of hearts, thought, well, we're just going to have another program, another study of the Essex County Jail. But I underestimated the creativity and the talent uh, of these students because what they have given us is another layer of history, another layer of history to the already rich history of Newark, New Jersey. Um, we all know how Newark went from a colonial village uh, to a thriving industrial center from 1826 into the 20th century. But we know how the waves of migrants and immigrants changed our city. Um, we know of the philanthropic business leaders who changed our city through donation of parks, Joe Parks, and great art and places like the Newark Public Library and the Newark Museum. We did not know about the people who may have fell through the cracks. And this is part of our history. Incarceration has been a part of our history. It will always be a part of our history. And as society deals with incarceration is how we may judge our history not just through the rich and the famous, but the people through circumstances that may not have been their fault at all, didn't stay on the right course. This exhibit shows how people have dealt with incarceration and how we must preserve that history so that we may learn from that history. So I'd like the students to stand. I'd like them to take a bow. And I'd like to introduce a gentleman who believes in our history. And that's the county executive, Joe D. Vincent. I work for Liz Del Tufo. In fact, we work together when we were in the parks together. together. We've done a lot of great things. And that young lady here, Nancy Sack, another person, who's making sure that I do the right things here in York. But listen, I, I, I want to be supportive. I want to be part of what happens there. Liz has been working on this ever since, well, 1974, you said. We, you know, we, the county owned that old gym. It was built in 1937. That closed down in 1837. And then when we opened the jail at the courthouse, that was in 1970. That's when it closed down. Then years later, of course, we closed that down. And now we have a jail down on the Ring Avenue. And that was open in 2004. But this area, this old jail where it is there, we want to keep the history of what, what happened here, you know, and whether we, whether it's come up with a museum or whatever we do, I will be part of that, making sure that we get it done. Between myself, Dr. Bloom, Liz, with everybody in this room, we'll find the money to make sure that gets done, that it looks nice. Because right now, it's a total eyesore. It's something I go by each and every day, and it doesn't represent who we are. So, uh, Liz, I'm not part of the team. I've been doing parks for a very long time, that's my background. So I want to bring this back to life and make people know what's happened ever since 1837. 